everyone, welcome back to Podcast on Wheels, episode, episode 20. 20! We are the officially the end of so season, season one. one. And today's season is <coughs> on a hurt foot. <coughs> yep, today has been a chaotic day for Not me. Not a great kicker for this episode. No, but today has been a chaotic day for me you once again. You joke, did you? Hmm? Not a great kicker for this joke. Oh, because my foot was, me and William's foot was injured today. But right now it's doing perfectly fine other than a, just a slight pain. Uh, other than that, my foot's fine right now. But... It started off like any normal day. I woke up around 6.24, extremely tired, and I was like, okay, this is like, I fell asleep at like 8 or 9 p.m. last night. What's going on? Why am I extremely tired? So I went to bed, and I woke up another time at 6.36 a.m. I was like, okay, time to get up. It's been six minutes past my alarm. <laughs> so I get up. We're and pretty good at waking up. Like, I mean, at least we've never yeah. woke up at, like. We've never woke the, up at, like, 7.30, the latest, minutes before. We... The latest we've ever woke up was 7.20. I don't know yep. what happened on that day. We must and it was stayed. picture day, and we didn't yeah. have time to brush our hair. But I still look flawless no, in my photos. My photos no. came out amazing. Picture day <laughs> was chaotic yes but <laughs> it was fun that was two months ago in and out of the gutters it's good <gasps> and i'm gonna tell them about something today we have found two random uh, gifts uh, <laughs> like no literally out of the blue we came home from school put the mail on mom's uh recliner thing and we see two christmas wrapped gifts uh, the, the, that say our names look no and, let me wait sorry dad let me tell you why it's just suspicious yes it's november oh, 30th tell them. wait hold up i'll wait tell why it's suspicious why it is suspicious is we do not have the christmas tree and mom normally when she wraps presents she says do not enter on the living room door and she wraps a couple and then puts them in her room to hide them away because and I've been dad, seeing her do this for years. And dad didn't sound like he was joking when he said, oh, I don't know what those are for. Huh? Yeah, and normally she hides them away in a room once she's physically done, and we never see a wrapped gift until the tree is put up. Then she starts putting them under the tree with our name on them and then perfectly wrapped. The tree is not up. There is no <laughs> more wrapping paper inside the living room. No. There is just two perfectly wrapped gifts on the living room table. Now, there was never a gift on the living room table <laughs> on near wrapped. Christmas. And there's normally never any presents by November 30th. Huh. I mean, how do you hit December? Yeah. And, and there's only no, two gifts. I'm like, there's, what? There's no other gifts. Nothing. There's just two randomly, perfectly wrapped gifts in the living room that we'd have no idea about. And I'm so like, yeah. I'm just getting hyped up thinking yeah. about it. And yeah. they're big, too. They, okay. they, they, they look pretty cylinder size. I'm like, what? The what fuck? could be in there? So, right. Remember that big, heavy package? Yeah. And the package was open. Those two gifts look about half size of package. Huh? Huh? <laughs> the huh? fuck? And they were ordered off Timu. What? What's That's going weird. on? Look, look. So Holy we get shit. so we get home no interrupted. So we get home from school, we put down the mail, and I look over to my right and see hmm. Why are there just two random presents? I look on the uh, presents yep. and they have our names <coughs> on it with saying, oh, I got you back or I'm turned over or something. I'm like, what? Hmm. Huh? There was a uh, little uh, stick people mm -hmm. and uh, one was turned upside down and it said, oh, I'm flipped over and he went, huh? huh? I don't know if that's an indication of what's inside the present. I, do I don't know. know why it's there. And our dad... Well, at least my dad said, oh, I don't know why they're there. And he did not sound like he was, like, playing Like, joking, so I kept like, oh, oh I like, don't know. He's oh. Like, oh, I don't know why they're there. I'm like, what? I'm like, what? Like, where did these two spawn from? Why are they here? I don't know why they're there. <laughs> I don't know how they're there. Uh, we mm -mm. saw a big old heavy Timu package that was at least four foot tall. Or, like, at and least three foot. Those... And then now those presents randomly come open. Like, literally uh, are just uh, there. Like, we did not see no signs of her wrapping any because she left this morning how did she wrap them when did she wrap and them i didn't see when what, what the fuck because she's at work <laughs> yes 
she leaves at lunch around 7 a.m. And I did not see them. I did not see them on the table <laughs> no, this morning. No, we did not see them on the table this morning. I didn't really look in the living room, but I knew no. I would see gigantic presents. <laughs> and how her mom literally left for work. We said bye. And so, yep. why and how are those gifts there? She's not even home yet. She comes home at like 5, 30, exactly. or 6. Uh, she's just going to get home, getting home late. I know, like, yesterday she got home at around 6. I'm like, what the hell? She got home 30 minutes well, later. Maybe, that sucks. Maybe the little uh, shifts are getting bigger or something. Oh, I hope not. I, I don't want her to work later, damn. But I don't know why those gifts are there. <coughs> I don't know how they're there. I don't know who has planned this. Because mom's at work. I just realized it clicked in my head that she's at work. Like, why are these gifts here? I know. Dad was like, oh, I don't know why they're there. I'm like, because normally has that so custom. Like, oh, I don't know. Like, you know, I was getting all excited for Christmas. And they're like, oh, I don't know why those gifts are there. Wink, wink. And then, like, to, you know. But then he didn't c- come off with a sarcastic kind of funny little thing. He was like, oh, I really don't know why those are there. I was like, oh. Well, we're probably going to find out later. I really don't know. I'm so fucking excited. I don't know. <laughs> if they bring nothing up, I'm just going to leave them chilling. I'm just going to leave them there. I'm not going to touch them. I haven't touched them. <coughs> I just looked at them. I didn't really touch them at all. Uh, but well, like, I wouldn't go, forget about them. I wouldn't go opening them, but they're on my mind right like, now. I don't know what they are. <laughs> it's about 58 minutes till Mom arrives for, for home from work. So... I guess we're gonna have to wait. Um. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna talk to you about my crazy talk that Amy and William say. And Obviously, the car it's bad. Crash. Yeah, and there was. I did not. Let me speak to you about it now. Okay. So I didn't catch it on film or nowhere. Wait, Doc. Sadly, wait, Doc. Wait, please. Wait, 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 wait. I'm t- asking you a question. Please. Are you gonna talk about my day? About. <laughs> Are you going to talk about your day, and then I'll talk about my sure. day since it's longer and more chaotic stuff happened? Uh, not uh, a car same. crash. Luckily, it didn't happen okay. to us. Don't panic about that, Evan. So, I'm Make sure your phone's charging. It's on a very bad angle. Turn it on. Let me see if it's green. Yep. It's seven. Aha! So, let me tell you, real up and close to the Chromebook. So, yep. today we experienced a car crash outside, just right near feet away from our window. Yep. In math. So, I was not filming. <coughs> I didn't have filming on my mind until we hear this yep. big old crash. We hear... Like a big... Like, get feet away from the window. Oh! And the whole class gets alerted by the of a car flipping. <gasps> of car flipping! And people hear this... We not only hear is it distinct, we hear it. Did very you catch clear. it on vo- video? No, I said I was not filming when the car Sorry. crashed. Sorry. We, I filmed when they all started. Yo! Someone said, "Oh my God, the car flipped." A red <sighs> and a gray car and a truck was involved. I see the red car. I kind of zoomed in on the red car, and you could see it in one clip. And I, my camera was so bad, and it was feet away out a window, and the window was slanted, so I couldn't get a really good view. But the car was damaged. And I was only able oh to sadly God. film uh, where people were. I did not want to film any of the accident because that will be too personal. But people were filming it outside their phones, you know. Like, people were, and I don't mind. And they're like, oh, my God. And the whole class was checking it out for at least 30 minutes. And I was like, oh, my right God. Miss, uh, he said, Mr. all right, guys. And he said, they, they have it until we heard ambulance. <sighs> we're mm-hmm. The alarms, meaning somebody was severely yeah. injured. Someone Holy was shit. severely injured, and and the ambulance started coming, and there was a fire truck, and there was people coming oh. in. There was a big old truck, and I'm we conscious. just kept hearing this throughout the thirty minutes of doing notes. Oh my God! We heard so, boom. No, we heard the collision happen. Oh my God! We heard, huh? Oh my! And the whole class was like, "What was that?" And then a student stood up and said, "Bro, why is there a car crash?" <laughs> you just were randomly chilling in math and, one day yes, and saw and a today, car crash. And today, uh, I didn't have my camera out. I wish I would have recorded like when it like <coughs> literally hit the car. I was like, <gasps> I was like "What was that?" But like, Did you I, but I filmed, I filmed us all reacting to it, and then filmed the little red car. You want to see it? Yes, please. Well. I'm going to put it in today's vlog that I will be uploading. Holy shit. 
No, I can't it was believe, a car crash. Yeah, <laughs> I can't believe she literally witnessed a car crash and not today. We heard it. We were like, what the heck? Oh, my God. How the, like, imagine just chilling in we math class doing, one day. We were, so we were on quizzes. We were all just doing a little activity. I got... Oh, uh, that's what I was doing quizzes in second. I got... Oh, no, Quizlet. Okay. Sorry. I got bad. one out of three... Cor- <laughs> no, I got two out of three correct. So I Damn. feel like I did pretty good on right. Good course. job. Um, so... Uh, then we hear this collision happen. We he- people see the red car and it goes like like, like I hear like metal clanging. Like I hear metal, then something clanging on the floor. Oh my god! And Mr. Mew saw people getting them out the car. I saw. Oh. I didn't see it, but Mr. Mew said, "Bro, uh, someone, a student, or Mr. Mew said, why does that guy look dead?'" They pulled out a limp oh, man from my the car. God. He done this. I'm gonna die. He looked passed out or dead. Oh my god! And I was like, oh, I didn't have the camera rolling. I was like, oh, I was like, what? Oh, and someone said, and he said, and he said, and a student creeped me out with this. He said, why does he look dead? Oh. As the ambulance, mm, I think I got the siren on camera. Oh but, God. like, only a glimpse of it until we all went down to the window. And I sadly couldn't get any glimpse because everyone else was in front of it. So I didn't really mind. I was okay about it. Oh my God. Just. But that catastrophe. Someone looked dead. Someone had broken their arm. And we don't know the rest. Bless our heart. We heard. Mm-hmm. And we heard. Mm-hmm. Like a like a police siren, ambulance yes, uh, siren, like fire ambulance. truck siren, all coming in. That collision and must have been loud. Yes, the window was open, so we heard it like feet away from our ears. What did you did you jump? I was like, what the what what was that? And people were oh crap! And then a student stood up and saw two cars collided. No, like we just heard a car crash in yeah. real action. Holy, just imagine chilling in mouth, like doing some notes, quizzes, anything, and you just see a random car crash happen right in front of your eyes, if not just 20, 30 feet away. That's horrifying. Uh, sorry, sorry for the people who had to go through that. I'm paying, I like, think, oh I, my I God. think I can play our reaction right now. That must have been the most chaotic part of your yeah, day. Yeah, I think it's in my camera. Yeah, it should be. I have many chaotic See, parts. See, look. They, this is... Nothing like a car crash. Oh, my. <laughs> look, I'm, not, I'm being dead. Yeah, holy <laughs> shit, what look is it? Look, sh- look, sh- yeah, the, I saw... Sh- My God, that's all the clip, Doc. Nice guy. No, it's not. It's thirty-six minutes seconds, oh. and you kept restarting it four times. How did you not make it? No, no it's not. <laughs> There was more, I think. Yeah, we're still checking it. Wait. <gasps> oh my god, the whole front was fucking off! <laughs> There was an officer, oh. there was, uh, the car was Getting wet. towed and shit. <laughs> oh my god! 
the whole front of I the car. I would love off. to be one of the person out the window to, to zoom in, <laughs> but that was the best I could get. Their red car was completely like, like the front was Demolished. off. Some of the back was off. People said, oh my God, it's so damaged. And like, everyone's trying oh to scream. God, that what? was literally like seconds after we heard that noise. Everyone was like, oh my God, I got it on the trailers. I got some of it on film. Like, oh my God, it was like a surreal moment. And I still I know. know it happened. I really pray that the people in that car crash or the man who looked dead is not actually dead and is recovering from now because that was six to seven hours ago my uh, god it was, like super scary um yeah <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so i just witnessed a car crash <laughs> imagine if the costumes here were closer e, uh, i wonder what their perspective I, on it who was knows? i wish our window was not so i i never heard anything about this in second period like yeah, i was way too far mm, i was way like my uh, and even was, some people who were closer Couple miles to away. our classroom did not hear it. We were the only ones that heard it. We were like, oh my god, what was that? And we just experienced a whole car crash in the span of a minute. <laughs> yeah. When you said we experienced a car crash, like, did your parents get into a car crash no. or something? Like, I, was, I mean, like, so we as in our class <coughs> do not worry, none of us got in a car crash. <laughs> None of our parents got in a car crash. No one of our related family has ever gotten, well, that has gotten into car crashes, but ha- has not happened recently. So, uh, yep. sadly, we had to witness that, and I, I am praying for the people inside the car. Yes, who, definitely. I hope they are safe and doing <coughs> well and just overall doing great, you know, hopefully. Yep, okay. Whew, and you saw the actual car, and you oh, my God. Oh, no. My God. So it was real. So, I knew I got car- little munchies. Oh I've yeah, got munchies and cheeses. I know, me too. That breakfast was delicious. Don't ask me why I randomly saying. I'm sorry. Um, I'm, I'm so gonna, sorry I had to listen to that. <laughs> yes, I prayed for the people who had to listen to me sing just now. Oh that was God, horrifying and horrible. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna talk to you about my day because me and William's day was more chaotic than I could have ever thought. Our my, podcast got 11. I know. Thank you so much for all the love on podcast episode 19. Uh, we got 11 views last night. Now, our most popular podcast is our first podcast episode, and it was only called Things Are Weird. It was the worst quality and ever. it was 50. And, and it got 50 views. So, we still thank you to, from the bottom of our hearts for that. But I wish they, our podcast was still performing <coughs> that well. I don't really mind. I just do the podcast for, like, memories, and it's just, like, honestly really fun, honestly. It's not, like, a job that I find that is, like, exhausting me, literally, because... We're doing another podcast, and our last podcast was 22 hours ago. So you get two episodes in less than two days. You Did are you so know very there's welcome. going to be a shiny Charizard in the next day. Oh, my gosh. And there's a new shiny Charizard, and it's going to cost everything. Damn. Yep. In five days, we filmed, well, we're filming our third podcast ep- episode in five days. And then our last one was uh, episode 17, 13 days ago. Pedalion Fades. Oh, hold up. We're getting called.
oh, look, next year is to bring <laughs> our, us a whole new set Sorry of shiny. Sh next year is going to bring us a whole new set of shiny Pokemon. <gasps> when the Pedalion fans <gasps> see set hits streets January 26th. Oh. We already knew it was, of course, c contained in Shiny Charizard, but we've seen it, and oh god, it's going to cost so much money. Holy shit. Jap Japan is getting its version of this set, Shiny Fate Treasures EX, a lot sooner. Cards are going to release December 1st, so this means we're going to... We're seeing what a lot of cards will look like all earlier that will have more recent sets. The current Paradox Rift has cards apparently internationally before some of their Japanese equivalents appeared. And today we've seen the special illustration rare of the Shiny Charizard. It's, it has every sign of being the biggest, most sought-after new Pokemon card in years. Oh, for those of you who are Pokemon lovers, you definitely want to get into this because... Let me see that Charizard, please. Yep. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh my god! That is the, That looks so cool! Yeah, that is oh, uh, on, the so recent excited. news on a new shiny treasure coming out, or uh, the whole entire set is going to be coming out January 26th. <coughs> now it's November 30th, so there's still two months or three months before yep. that, but I'm just going to wait patiently, you know? Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was adorable. You laugh. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to talk to you about my chaotic day now because now we're 20 minutes in the podcast and talked about absolutely nothing. I'm joking. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we talked absolutely about something. Absolutely nothing. We talked about some things. Don't panic. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about my day on how chaotic it was for me and William. So, I wake up like any normal day. I already told you that <clears throat> I was extremely tired. Um, I was exhausted for some reason. Way more than usual. I was like, okay, that's odd. So I get up and I eat me a yummy pot tart. I normally skip breakfast all the way till like 10, 10 a.m. something. So I don't eat breakfast till very late. <laughs> uh, but, um... <clears throat> I finally eat breakfast at around a decent time at like seven something. Uh, and yeah, I get my stuff ready and I go to school and it's a normal day <coughs> on the bus and I go to first period and I realize my friend Haley isn't here, my friend Sierra isn't here, nobody's here, none of my friends are there. So I had to sit all alone and I was just watching videos looking for like I was talking out to my friends about what was going to happen at the hospital today. Like, wheelchair changes, mainly to my sister. They don't really know what to do with my chair yet. Because right now, it has, like, a quick... It has, like, a black strap to hold my chest in. I have the normal black strap to protect my stomach. I have, like, the little pink extension <laughs> buckle that was Senior extended. Senior citizens who have not yet registered for their $3,197 food allowance. What's that, Doc? That was an add on in shot. <laughs> no, I was oh, oh. Okay, anyway, uh, sorry <laughs> about that. Um, and then well, I have, on. like... Gauze and Velcro to hold my joystick somewhat in place uh, if it slides. I have like two mats and a little chucks pad to kind of support my back. So my wheelchair isn't the greatest. And they originally tried to put a headrest so they could keep up my head. That wasn't going the greatest. And then they had to put it on Emmy's chair because she was having severe back problems and could not stay up whatsoever, probably even worse than me because I'm not as tall and I don't have a flimsy, odd back um, like Emmy. So she had to put get that put on. Yeah, I, she got that put on. And my leg restraints, the red thing had to be removed for a doc's chair. So a lot of my extensions that weren't really helping for me really helped my sister or my friend Emmy out. Which sucks because those extensions were supposed to be for me, but they didn't really work out the greatest. But sometimes they work out. And then a month later, when I've got like a new adjustments or something, or I need new machines or suction machines or feeding tubes, <clears throat> blends, I don't 
whatever was added to my chair that made it differently didn't work as well as the fucking first time. So I'm having difficulties with my chair. I cannot get it right. I've never been able to get it right for over one month now, two months now. We have been working on my chair for over a day sometimes. Like, we've worked on it for five hours before. We worked on it for four hours before. We worked on it three hours before. We worked on it like we'd take many hours to drive to the place to help work on my chair. We'd do like little adjustments here and there for like a couple of minutes. So, all the time over the past two months because I posted them now saying I almost fell out my wheelchair and you saw my wheelchair on the front thumbnail it had two little seats and something else and like a buckle and it was so under development I don't know how I stayed in my wheelchair that's fine but then I realized my back support and my head support is horrible. My head keeps constantly falling out. My joystick falls out with every little movement I make. The mat keeps slipping. My legs are lifting two inches off the actual things where my legs are supposed to be. So I've started realizing and noticing, like, I need to do some very serious changes to my winter. One month ago, I needed strap changes, like a chest like a stomach strap instead of a chest strap but by then I was already used to the chest straps I was wearing for about a month. My strap journey is still continuing for about two months now. I have been wearing my straps consistently since we started this channel. The chest straps you see on me right now. I have been wearing those for two months consistently now um, on my stomach, on my chest, every single day and never took them off for one day unless if I was in my underwear and I wasn't wearing them. That's different. That's for like showering and bedtime. But for everyday use, I have been wearing these consistently for two months. Now by then I was like one month in my strap journey and I was already really used to them. I loved them. Um, but my doctor said, hey Donnie, you know, you're losing weight again. You're severely starving. You have to get like a new feeding tube changes. You have to get like a new trick. Blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh my god. So in two consecutive weeks, I got two major surgeries for trachs and tracheostomy tubes and extensive trach and one of the extensive trachs worked for about a couple of days. Uh, well, f first I got like a normal trach and then it started at a BiPAP. But then my breathing, I had this weird long thing going on with weakness. And I was like, yeah, you're going to lose 2% every day. In 10 days, you'll die if you don't get an extensive trach. I was like, okay. And then I realized, I was like, okay. I got an extensive trach and my breathing went up. And yeah. I wear a spacer trach now. I do not wear the tubal trach anymore. <clears throat> you could see what that looks like on a community post Doc made with one of her children. And her her kid, Donnie, had one of the extensive trachs, like a tubal trach. Uh, but I have one of the more extensive ones with the gauze and the machines hooked up to it. And the spacer trach, I realized, hey, my sister has this, like, blue connector to it. When you see blue on somebody's special trait, it means that they have like extra filterized, more power, stronger air pressure, meaning they get better oxygen and breathing from that. So my spacer trait now has blue things connected to the sides, knowing that it's a more extensive type of spacer trait that I use um, every day in my life. I never get off of it, and I have it on every single day and never stop um and yeah that's why we're going to the hospital and getting tested and stuff um like blood tests urinary tests every single test MRIs and everything um and we're hoping to do that today but we have to film this podcast first because i wanted to talk to you about my day so now that i just went on that ginormous run about hospitals weakness trach Check troubles, wheelchair troubles, strap troubles, anything. And everything has gone wrong with me. And it never gets fixed. I swear. And I hate it so freaking much. Anyway, we're going to talk about today. Because today was hectic. So, I go to first period. And none of my friends are there. And I'm like, there, we do our normal stretches. Like, oh, Franklin, whatever the fuck. These stretches are hard. Uh, 
so we do have stretches, <coughs> and they're like, okay, we're starting to cost class on the blue, and I thought, okay, a normal 10 minute jog, uh, let's just get through this, we'll be okay, and it'll be all over soon, nope, I had a student say, 25 minutes, and I was like, what? Why did he just scream 25 fucking minutes? That's already 15 minutes of our original walk jog. That would be exhausting, right? But the gym, I heard the gym teacher say, Oh yeah, we're doing like 25 minute walk jog because y'all are lazy and don't do a trap and y'all didn't do anything today. So this is, <coughs> y'all didn't do anything yesterday. I'm like, what do you mean we didn't do anything yesterday? The whole team was aiming at me and my William and my friends. We were running across the gym. I was constantly getting out. William was throwing balls left and right. I saw people running across the gym. What do you mean we weren't doing anything? We were playing the damn game you wanted us to. For the whole 40 minutes we only had. Because you took 30, 40 minutes to set up. How is that our fault? I get it. Some girls didn't participate. Should that, should eight people be faulting for 30 other people? No. No the hell. I am still mad at that. They said 25 minute walk John I was like, what the fuck? That is two days. That's almost three days worth of our walk jog in one day. The hell we're not used with. The, we're not used to that at all. I'm not used to jogging and running for 20, 30 minutes straight. Uh-uh. We ain't used to that. Mm-mm. I don't do that excessive activity. I can't move my legs. And damn well, I can't push my just that stick for that long straight. Oh, hell no. And William was like, oh, bless his heart. He was like... <sighs> breathing in and out because already it was exhausting and then like oh we're adding time because four fucking people won't jog we're adding time five more minutes i'm like bitch it's already 30 minutes i'm already tired the hell me and will were like sweating and then 10 minutes go by it's nine o'clock and it's only been seven minutes since we started god damn and i start getting lower abdominal pain oh hell no meaning since i said i'm on my period that day and you know when you run with your period sometimes there's that stomach cramping pain but not like a full period cramp yeah, me and William had that. Our lower <laughs> abdominal pain, seven minutes in. Oh my god, oh my god, we got 23 minutes left. <laughs> and we were seven minutes in and we started experiencing severe stomach pain. <laughs> we have 23 minutes left. Come on. And so me and William were like, oh, oh. And we were like running and I was like, ah, oh, like trying to. And William was holding on his stomach and our voice started to begin to crack. And I felt like to cry in that fucking moment. I was exhausted. I felt like to cry. My stomach hurt. My foot my Ain't no way hurt. Grandma almost passed two weeks ago. She did. Oh my god. The video say 13. Oh no. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, so, I felt like to cry in that moment. I was overwhelmed. I... They added more time, three more minutes. They said, jog, 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 jog. I'm going to tell jog on how much they made us jog. Jog, 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 20 minutes of straight jogging. And you're like, Johnny, that's pitiful. Come on. I'm only used to five minutes every single day. And since then, we've been like, missing days we've been taking breaks from days we had a whole thanksgiving break of five days so meaning we missed over nine days out of 11 meaning we only done two days of actual five minute jogging and uh i was not used to that Let's keep in mind our time jogs are five minutes straight not 20 minutes with barely a minute breaks to walk still you don't get to sit down you have to walk <laughs> Damn it. So me and William felt like to cry. Like, our stomach severely hurt. It was so painful to walk or run. And he was clenching on his stomach like, ah! And we're like, ah! Ah! We kept doing that every fucking step we took because it was that painful. And Miss Faircloth kept 
looking at me and William in pain about to cry. And my whole face was flushed and red. William was like, oh, fucking hell. And like, we were groaning in pain. My face was red. We were so tired. We couldn't fucking breathe almost. We were, ah, it was horrible. Like, I hated every fucking minute of it. And by the end of it, our foot started to hurt even more. I was like, what? Like, me and William, we have flat feet, so... It Do you know what's interesting? I always thought this girl had cerebral palsy. Turns out she has muscular dystrophy. Huh. Huh? Oh, I know her. I didn't... I, I did, don't know her as a friend. No, I, know. I, I did her, not um, know she had muscular dystrophy because I was watching um, uh, this... Th- they said I wouldn't survive... Uh, Three days. Now I'm a married mom, born different. Awesome. But I did not know she had muscular dystrophy. I always thought she had cerebral palsy, so my bad. But it was super cool to learn yeah. that. I was like, what? Okay. Anyway, um, I, me and William were exhausted, and 10 minutes go by. We're walking around for another 20 minutes because I have no friends in that class but two people because all the 30 are either treat me like babies, hate me, or don't talk to me. Uh, so me and William were walking alone by ourselves for 20 extra minutes. My foot, William's limping by that point. His foot's fucking killing him. He's like, oh my God, we gotta go to the nurse, Johnny. I was like, the second time, because the first time was about a month and a half ago where we just had period problems and we just needed to get like a pad and that was fucking it. Not this foot pain. So I, when he goes up to Mr. Luther and he said, may I go to the nurse? My foot's killing me. And he was like, yeah, go ahead. Um, so he gave me us the key to the locker room and me and William unlock, well, William unlocks the locker room. We go in there. His back is in pain. He's like, oh, oh, groaning and picking up our bag. And we're having to walk all the way to the nurse's office. And we, luckily I see the nurse outside the hall and I'm like, hey, is there any way we can rest up in your, the nurse's office for a bit? Our foot's killing us. for like, oh, my back hurts. Our foot's killing us. Our stomach was killing us earlier. My head feels a little weird. I felt a little lightheaded running. I almost fucking collapsed. May I rest? Um, you got collapsed? Not collapsed. I was like, Ugh. Well, I didn't almost faint, obviously, but I felt like my, William's legs felt so weak to the point it almost failed. Like, we're well, that skinny and that little that we have so many problems by just fucking running. <clears throat> so she's like, of course. She opens it up for me. Me and William sit down and we're resting up in our office. And I, okay, so tell me what's going on with your foot. Sadly, our phone died, so we couldn't film the whole conversation. My bad. But William just says, my foot hurts and I have flat feet, so there's no arch in my foot, meaning if I stand too long, walk too long, run too long, my foot really, really hurts, like it feels sore and weird, so they're like, okay, we're going to get you some ice for your foot, rest it for about an hour or two on that ice, and they're like, we're like okay, goodbye me, so they give me and one the bag of ice, and the bell rings, they're like, do you want us to call, like, your mom or dad, you know, do you, uh, you think you're going to make it the rest of the day? Obviously, I said, yeah, I'm going to make it the rest of the day. I don't want to miss any tests, don't want to miss any work. That's just not me. So, I'm like, yes, I can make it through the day. Thank you very much. And we go up to Miss Peter. We go all the way up the stairs. And, of course, I'll take the elevator. But William goes up the stairs, like, in pain, limping. And he's like, hey, Miss Peters, um, me and Donnie, our uh, foot hurts, uh, the nurse told us to rest it for about an hour or two with this ice. Do you think we can rest our foot in class? She's like, yeah, we'll work something out for you, darling. Don't worry. And so we go into class and we're like, okay, we're going to do quiz at first before we rest your foot. So, because I don't want, we're going to be moving around anyway. And William could still walk. It's not like he was immobilized where the point he couldn't walk or needed crutches. So uh, he could walk. So he was just walking slowly across the classroom meeting up with his teammates, and I was strolling along, um, yeah, and by this point, our foot still hurt, and I didn't know how badly it hurt until William took off his shoe, and I, he took off my shoe, and I was like, oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god, like, it fucking hurt more than, I'm like, whoo, so I put, so William puts the ice on me and his foot, and like, just resting there with a little foot arched up in a chair for 30 minutes, <clears throat> During the assignment we were supposed to be doing, she treats us like absolute, like a baby. So, we're sitting there. That was Hannah at 12? 
No. No! Stop. What? what? Age 12? Yeah, because it said 7th grade at the homecoming dance. She went old as hell. God dang. Damn. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Uh, so, she says, Hey, y'all supposed to be on level, like, tab 2 out of this because you're on lesson 2 now. She's like, yeah. And she's like, oh, lesson 2? My friend Floyd says, oh, lesson 2? And the sweetest innocent voice. She's like, yeah, the thing, lesson 2 in big black ink. And she, yeah, the one right there. And I was like, damn. I was mm -hmm. like, dang. Yeah, she just taught. Like, we were retarded. I'm like, what the hell? We were already working on lesson two, and it says, use your data. We already had our data. Why would it matter if we go into the second damn tab where it literally does say AHP or APH? Here we go. This is why it's high city. This, we already knew that. Why the fuck would it give us any information that we already knew? So she was talking to us like we were retarded. I'm like, what the fuck? So I was like, okay, whatever. And I go to lunch. Me and William, William has to walk very slowly with his ice pack in his hand. It hurts to put back on his shoes. Like, ah, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ah, ah. He's doing all that when he's trying to put on his shoe because it hurts. And it's rubbing against the back of his foot, so he has to flip up the tab and uh, and so he puts it back on the shoe and it hurts. Um, and it hurts me, so we're going and we try to try out the salad bar. Let me tell you, that salad's good as fuck. Like honestly, I ate that thing, that whole thing, and it was delicious as hell. I got chickens. I got <laughs> I got chicken bites with mine, croutons and cheese and light dressing. Now light dressing, I could barely taste anything, but it made the salad at least somewhat eatable, and it was actually pretty good, like, I ate the whole thing, it was delicious, um, so I'm gonna go back there tomorrow and order me some delicious ass salad, so, me and William slowly walking around, limping, across the whole gym, um, not the gym, god damn it, I'm from the lunchroom, and we wait there, and I set, we set our ice pack on the chair, before we left, and Miss Fraser needed to get her shots in her eyes before she gets blind thingy, so she has to get those done every month. So 12 times a year, she has to get shots in her eyes, and they don't hurt her at all anymore. Um, so she goes does that, but she was there in the beginning for like 20 minutes, and then when we come back from lunch, she's walking out the door. So she's there with the before the sub gets there. So I set my ice pack in the chair beside me where I, me and my mom are going to be resting our foot for that day. So we go to lunch and we're ordering salad and we enjoy the salad, we come back and I realize, where's my ice pack? My ice pack is no longer in the chair. I have set it in there previously. I'm like, okay, what happened to my ice pack? I start walking around, I was like, okay, that's odd, it didn't fall off the chair. <clears throat> Miss Fraser had already left. And the sub was there, and I, me and William looked down in the trash can and said, Oh, there's the scraps of our ice pack. It's been thrown away. And we kind of asked her, and the sub was so sweet. Um, and poor, bless her heart, she had OCD and was scrambling across her. And I'm like, Holy shit, this room is messy. She wasn't judging her. I wasn't judging Miss Fraser. She just has OCD and cannot, and literally could not almost sit there. Like, she was severely uncomfortable sitting there. But I asked her, I was like, hey, I am so sorry to bother you. And she's like, oh, yeah, go ahead. It's okay. And I was like, our ice pack got, I haven't, I had an ice pack in my chair to rest my foot because me and William got injured in gym. She's like, oh, okay. And I was like, and somebody threw away my ice pack. Maybe go to those. And she's like, oh, and her face got wide open. She's like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. Your teacher just threw it away. Because she normally throws away the straps of the second period. I was like, oh, I, I was like, okay, th th thank you. I mean, thank you for telling us. May I go to the nose? She's like, yeah, go ahead, of course. So me and William went back to the nose. We're like, hey, c can we get another ice pack? I'll teach us right away. They're like, yeah, of course. Remember, just, you know, you don't have to carry it around the whole day. I was like, yeah, we know that. And we didn't carry it around the whole day. I didn't carry it around in fourth. Uh, <coughs> um, so uh, me and William rushed our foot for the whole half one hour. 
an hour and a half, making our two hours up, meaning we didn't need to rest our foot in ice anymore. Yay! So, we put back on our shoe, it feels more alleviating to put back on our shoe and not more painful. So, we knew that the pain on our foot was alleviating. So, me and William walked to Math College and we have a test and we do all that and, yeah, that's... That's my day. And then we saw a random mysterious gift on our table. That's that's basically all my day. Do you need to talk about anything else? Because we can end this early. Not every podcast episode has to be at that hour because we do need to go to the hospital and do the doctor stuff. And Yeah. I want to have time to do that. I don't know. Do you have anything else you want to talk about before we hang off? I don't think so. Okay. Thank you so much for watching Podcast on Wheels, episode 20. Yes, this is the ending of season one. I really hope you guys enjoyed season one, and we'll be starting season two, most likely, very late in this week or next week. So, I hope you guys enjoyed season one, and bye-bye.